Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of Azure Every Day. I'm Christopher Furless, Senior Principal Architect over here with Pragmatic Works. And uh, today we're going to talk about application insights within Microsoft Azure. Um, basically, Application Insights is an application performance management service for web applications, which enables you to monitor your website performance in Azure. Right? It's going to help uh, detect performance anomalies. It has a powerful analytical tool um, that helps you diagnose issues and understand how users are using your web application. It's really designed to ensure that you're getting optimum performance and, and uh, the best in class user experience from your website. And the only way to do that is to understand what's happening, right? You can use it with a bunch of web platforms, .NET, Node.js, J2EE, many others, right? And uh, it's important to realize that you're sending the data to Azure about your website, but the website itself or the web application doesn't have to be hosted in Azure, right? Um, and then for those of you who are taking on DevOps processes, um, this is going to help you to ensure that you are um, enabling continuous improvement on your web app um, with connectivity to a whole bunch of different development tools, right? Um, so basically, the way it works is you insert a, uh, a small package into your application, right? So a, a small snippet of code, right? And uh, set up the App Insight resource within Azure, sending the data to Azure to collect that information. The web app is monitored and it sends uh, telemetry data to the Insight portal. Um, and remember, that can be Azure or not. Right, so the portal itself is Azure, but uh, the application can be pretty much anywhere. Um, along with the application insights from the web app, you can pull in your host environmental data, right? So you can look at performance logs, you can look at Azure diagnostics, you can look at uh, Docker container logs, you know, and, and all of these are going to give you a full picture of what's happening within the web application, as well as what's happening in the environment where it lives, right? So uh, you get that full picture, right? Uh, you can also set up uh, periodic web tests that'll allow you to send requests to the web service and it just basically ensures that um, it's responding properly and you're, you're getting the correct um, feedback when you make a request which basically tells you that the website is working the way it's supposed to right uh, the implementation is very straightforward you know um, light set of code that tracks web calls that are non-blocking and uh, that are sent in separate threads after they've been batched together um, now some of the things that you can look at, right? What are the most popular web pages in your application and at what time of the day and where is that traffic coming from, right? So, so kind of basic information that you're gonna see from most platforms anyway, um, but this allows you to track, it, track that in more fine-grained detail. Um, it's also gonna look at dependency rates or response times and, and failure rates to find out if there's an external service that's causing performance issues on your application, right? So if there's a portal that uh, your customers are getting to, uh, going through to get to your application, and there are response time issues going through that mechanism, uh, you know, maybe there's an issue there and then this configuration. Uh, it it uh, tracks exception, exceptions for both server and browser information. Um, it'll show things like paid, uh, page views and load performance from the uh, end user's side, from their browser information. Um, it's going to collect session information, so who, what, when, where. Um, you know, it's going to collect the, uh, the performance and host diagnostics that we talked about, right? So again, giving us that complete picture of what's happening within our application. Uh, it's going to collect trace logs for correlating trace events with requests, you know, and help you get a deeper insight into the data and, you know, dig deeper in the diagnostics uh, to improve performance. And it's, uh, it's got some additional flexibility here. So you can write custom snippets of code to collect other pieces of data that aren't part of, um, you know, the canned package, if you will. So if you want to know, um, you know, how many trophies a, a gamer has gotten from their, uh, from their application, uh, you know, you can track that kind of information um, within the application insights and, and show some of the statistics as part of the reporting package. Um, all of these reports can be looked at through uh, Azure's uh, suite of reporting tools, uh, connecting through things like Power BI uh, to really visualize and get some great fine grain analytical information about that application. So 
uh, it's a really useful tool. Uh, anybody who has an application or a website really wants to know the information that uh, that is being put out there. They want to know who's viewing what, what's the most popular, so that they can repeat that and do it better. So uh, if you've got any questions about uh, this technology, uh, Azure, um, you know, website hosting, application performance in Azure, uh, we're doing all kinds of projects around this stuff and uh, we'd really be excited to help out and, and answer any questions you may have. Uh, you can click on the link below or, or get in touch with us and we'll be happy to help you out. Hope you have a great day and uh, thanks for listening.